Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Welcome to TeachUcomp's Mastering PowerPoint Made Easy. This is the initial screen that is displayed when you create a new blank presentation in PowerPoint 2013. The view shown is called Normal View and is one of the many presentation views that are available in PowerPoint. It is the view in which you will spend most of your time constructing your presentation. A presentation is the default type of file in PowerPoint. Within the presentation file, you create and modify individual slides. The slides within a presentation contain multiple text and graphic objects which create the contents displayed in the individual presentation slides. When you close a presentation, PowerPoint will prompt you to save unsaved changes in the presentation before closing. The following lessons within this chapter will examine the elements of the PowerPoint environment. New PowerPoint users should first familiarize themselves with the various tools and elements within the program's environment before attempting to create a presentation. The presentation slides appear within the main screen of the application window. The application window consists of the title bar, the ribbon, the status bar, and the presentation slides. The most important tool to point out is the ribbon, located at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, button groups, buttons, and commands available to use within the program. For users upgrading from PowerPoint 2007, you will find that the Microsoft Office button has been replaced by the File tab within the ribbon. Clicking this tab allows you access to the Backstage view, shared by Microsoft Office 2013 through 2010 products. In the Backstage view, you will find the most common file management commands, such as creating a new presentation, saving presentations, and printing presentation slides. Above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. You will notice several important buttons are already set here. Save, Undo, and Redo. You can also easily remove buttons that you have added to this toolbar as well. At the very top of the window, you will see the name of the current presentation appear to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar, in an area known as the Title Bar. Below all of the tools, the current presentation is displayed. This is where you create the actual slides in the presentation, and most of the actual work in PowerPoint will be done in this area. At the right side of the presentation, you will see a vertical scroll bar. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your presentation if your presentation is wide or if you zoom in on the current slide. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your slides. You can use the horizontal scroll bar, if shown, to scroll left and right across presentation slides. Speaking of zooming the presentation, you can easily zoom in to increase the magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification using the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the application window. Also, to the left of that, you can see the various presentation view buttons that allow you to switch to the view of your presentation if needed. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they are located by default, and what they are called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the PowerPoint application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.